Oh, first rise of my soul, family, peace to the God stars and goddesses. We got to talk about these individuals who were in high school and college. They only join they only join athletic teams in the hopes of trying to be famous in the hopes of trying to be well known, be famous. And then these the same people who did this, they joined these high school and college fitness teams. Whether it might be cheerleading, softball, football, or basketball, any type of sport where you see a lot of in-shape people. Those individuals who only did it for fame recognition, after their high school and college years, they are literally out of shape. They are literally overweight, looking like Peter Griffin, looking like Shrek. And this really is disgusting to just do things you want to be on a sports team just for fame and i could tell you this this is a huge problem in a in a lot of countries like usa for example usa usa is one of the main countries i'm gonna go use as an example even though it's so many so like for example you could have a lot of individuals who were like overweight, out of shape, looking like Peter Griffin and Shrek combined in the body in the body physique. And they will be the same people who tell who tell you that, oh, they used to be a hot cheerleader back in high school and, and college and all this stuff. And I'm like, what the world made you want to loop? What the what the what the world? Like what the world mate? What in the world, mate? What in the world would make you want to let yourself go after high school and college when you were being in shape, being a cheerleader or you were doing volleyball or you were doing gymnastics. Right. So it really disgusts me how a lot of the individuals like the girls, in the, the, the women in the men, the women in the men who did things for fame. They only join sports teams and fitness teams in high school and college in the hopes of being famous. The hopes to be well known. And when they could not become famous and well known, guess what? They let themselves go and they become out of shape, man. Like that's not really a good look. Like, if you like individuals, the only individuals I got respect for, if they're gonna join a, a fitness or a sports team, they do it because they actually enjoy it. It actually like makes their spirituality be more enhanced. You feel me? And they really like feel like their their mental is like evolving as they keep playing these sports and they are staying in shape on their spiritual journey. I can respect those people, right? Because there's a lot of people who are like 25. There's there's a lot of people who's like 24, 25. You know, they probably been like three years, three years out of college, and they probably had let themselves go and be out of shape, overweight. Only because like they only they only been on the sports team and fitness team just to be famous, man. Just because they get just just because they get some famous recognition, man. Especially, and this this just has not happened back then, yo. It's not this has not just happened back then. Like this has happened in the social media era. You know how many individuals that are like 25, 26, 24. They might be a few years away from, from like graduating college when they were in shape and all that. They're being this this hot cheerleader, this hot gymnastic girl, this this in shape this in shape wrestler, etc. Guess what? A lot of those men and women who who join these fitness teams and sports teams in colleges and all that, in high school. They only did this for fame. They didn't do this because they had love for fitness, love for the sport. Because I can guarantee you, the people that got love for the fit, they got love for the sport, man. They always gonna, they always gonna be grinding and staying fit without a coach having to tell them to do so. Because a lot of people, I can guarantee you, there's, there's even people right now, there's even people right now in 2024. That's in these particular colleges. A lot of these women and men is in these colleges. They're on these sports teams and all that. You know, they're only there because they're only there to get some fame 
on social media in this social media era. But I guarantee you, they're not the they're not the same type of people who's gonna be you know working out and, and like being fit without a coach having to tell them. You feel me? Like let me tell you something. I'll use myself for example, right? So I am twenty eight. I'm twenty eight years young. You know, I would I would go. I would go find ways to play some type of sports, do any type of fitness. Ever since I was 17, like I didn't need no coach to tell me to, to do so. I didn't need a coach to go tell me to, you know, go go run routes, go go make this. Pl- I didn't ha- I didn't need it. I didn't need a coach to go tell me to go run miles or run routes in, in football or anything or, t- or a coach to tell me to go shoot some hoops. Like I did it on my own. I did it out my own will because I enjoy this type of stuff. I enjoy football, basketball, track, gymnastics, any, any type of thing you could think of. Because I, like, I did not do fitness and sports in the hopes of becoming famous. You know? Like even after even after high school, like I still I still do things to stay in shape. I still like because you know being in shape and playing sports is a spiritual thing. Like this stuff has nothing to do with being famous, being well known. Like because a lot of these girls, a lot of these women in college, they be on these gymnastics teams, volleyball, basketball, etc. They look they're they're in shape. They're in shape. But I guarantee you, majority of them are doing this. In the hopes of like they can bag all the dudes that they that they see at at the colleges and and dudes from another college. That's why a lot of these girls like you are playing these sports in colleges in USA. They're doing this for fame, my people. And this stuff been going on for, for ages, way before the social media era. How many times have you heard? How many times have you heard your relatives in USA say like? You know, I used to be, I used to be a phenomenal athlete in high school and college. But when you see them now, they could be like thirty five, and you know they're they're looking like Peter Griffin and Shrek, looking like looking like the fat lady from from fucking Finland and shit. Like, how often have you seen it? You see this like damn near almost every day, man. This is no joke. This is not a laughing matter, man. Like doing sports and fitness, man. Doing sports and fitness in high school and college, you should be doing it because you actually enjoy it. To the point where, like, you don't even need a coach to go tell you to, like, you know, work on gymnastic drills, work on, work on some volleyball drills. Like, you don't need a coach to be telling you to do this because if you need a coach to tell you to do these type of things, obviously you're doing. You're doing sports and fitness in the hopes of being famous on social media in this era, in 2020. Like, it's freaking, it's a shame, man. I have no respect for women or men that do sports and fitness in the hopes of becoming famous. And then when it doesn't go their way in college, and if it doesn't go their way in college, now now all of a sudden, like three years later, they let themselves go and they looking like overweight and like piling up a lot of Chekas and Raleigh's and McDonald's and Culver's and et cetera type of like, you know, processed foods and shit, man. Like, come on, man. Like people in USA cannot be doing this. And this is not the only country it happens. It happens like damn near everywhere. It happens damn near everywhere in countries where there's known for a lot of out of shape people. After the year after after the years of college. But I do not, like, come on, man. Like, there's girls right now. There's girls right now, probably somewhere in the University of Tulane or or, or LSU or or ULM or something like that. They're on a sports team in the hopes of bagging all the fraternity guys that they want to get with and be famous. But then when when that fame does not go their way after college and, and they become this unknown you know, low social media status person, they let these type of girls who look good at ULM, Tulane, and LSU, now they start looking overweight and looking like whales and shit and just have no fucking value because they didn't see sports and fitness as a spiritual thing to become a better individual day in and day out. They did this shit for fame. This disgusting, mate. I'm very disgusted, mate. This is all I got to say to my family, y'all, yeah.